Damn, I even went and cleaned it off because I had a whole bunch of shit in my phone and it still say I only got 22 minutes to record. That's how much shit I got in my phone. Um, hey, y'all remember when I used to do videos every day? Remember when it was a video, at least a two minute video every day? Remember when this one also did videos at all? <laughs> I did. Like, I have fallen so short. Oh, also remember when Asia didn't have braids? Mm -hmm. What? Asia with no braids? Yeah, right. Hey, it's I have not come and done a thing in a while to update to let the world know where I am because all four of you care so much. <laughs> 42 subscribers. It's just like I pop up in somebody's news feed and somebody's like, ah yeah, that dude. That's so weird to me. Hi. Like, hey, you know, if you did click this motherfucker, hey, thanks for stopping by. Like, I, I didn't clean up. I didn't I didn't fancy the place up or anything. I just wanted to update you and let you know where we were. Um, Feels like such a big update. It's been so long. Right? Yeah, we just haven't. Oh, so, long story short, last, was that Wednesday? Wednesday. Last Wednesday? Asia called me from work at 10.30 in the morning and was like, hey, there are two confirmed cases of COVID-19 in this building. And we are being told to be quiet about it so that there is no panic. I'm coming home. <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, I'm on the way. You know, that's not even a conversation. Like, I'm on the way. So we emailed her bosses to let them know, and they somehow managed to label it job abandonment, but then gave her two days off so that they could deal with the situation. And they're like, oh, you can come back on Monday. Then there was that whole thing where they wanted to suspend her. No, they deal with the situation means, hey, calm down about it, but they couldn't do anything more. So it's, it's like, look, they weren't taking look. it. With security, nobody secures security. Nobody cares about security. Right. So like, it's it's such a thankless job, and we're so essential. Like for you, how are you gonna say we essential, but then we get treated like that? But it is like that's not even that's I not what you to cut you off. Uh, that just kind of goes to what you're talking about. Essential workers don't want no damn thank you hero sign. We want money, bitch. <laughs> right? Like, look, no, we don't. And if you are an essential worker who wants that, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. That's fair, but but in the for the people who are out like nurses, doctors, people who are like hands on, absolutely they need to be. Uh, yeah, there should be hero pay for that. Absolutely. Like, not as much say for for McDonald's workers as say doctors and nurses. But absolutely you are out there. My friend Dennis works in a grocery store, which doesn't sound essential, but where would people get food if they didn't? So that's essential as fuck. So for me, when we drove away from that building Wednesday at 11, we just kind of knew that was it. Like, we was just... In my heart. Asian, it wasn't going back. There was conversation back and forth about what could take place and what would satisfy her conditions. And they basically said, well, yeah, we're following all the guidelines. We're not going to do anything. I cleaned out my locker like, it's like out of anger. Like, I kind of knew. I just like, needed that confirmation from my people. See, but, but here's the thing, dude. This is such an awkward time in the world where I can be sitting here. Like, literally, I was sitting here even before any of this shit happened and randomly got a text from the uh, EDD building. And they were just like, oh, y'all didn't see that idea. And they were just like, hey, we've extended your unemployment. You're getting more now. No, I have not worked since July of 2019. <laughs> But they still just, it, it, it feels like it's forever ago, but it was about a year. It's just been a lot since January. It's just been a whole fucking lot since, a lot since March. It's just been one thing after another. And it's like Asia already qualifies for unemployment. She's already getting unemployment. She can certify for unemployment. They're paying her to stay home. So why would we let her risk her life to go out there? You know, now I understand that that puts us in a bad way later. Like, what are we going to do for employment once this is over? But one, when is it going to be over? Like, we are so fucking stupid. We don't know what we're doing. And secondly, when it is time, we'll be ready. Like, done fucking worrying about shit. Like, here we are. Still doing it. Like, not a, not a care in the world. That was, that was a week ago. That was a week ago today that all of that happened. 
And now here we are one week removed from her working for Triple Canopy. And we just chilling. Not a care in the world. Oh, I gave up on the new beard thing, as you can see. But I'm just going to go back to, to what works, you know. So, yeah, that's where we are. That's what's up. That's my gold ranger staff, dog. Fuck, yeah, it is, man. I would go over there and show you my shelf. Like, it's all impressive. But I'm not going to be one of those people. So, but, hey, all is well. Like, come what may, man. This holistic life is working the fuck out.